Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about two method which we are generally using with the collections in Scala. And those methods are map and filter method. So let's talk about the map method first of all. So the map method we typically use to iterate over our collection. It can be a list or an array or a set or any other kind of a collection and then apply a function to each element of that collection. So as you can see, I have a variable called list and this is the list of uh, some numbers. And I also have a second variable called my map and this is the map of a number versus a name map, let's say. So let's say I want to apply a map method on the list. So I'm going to just use my list name. Then I'm going to use uh, dot map. And as I said, uh, the map method will iterate over every element of the collection. In our case, it's a list. And then uh, we can apply any function on it. So let's say we want to just double every element of uh, my list. So what we can do is we can just use underscore asterisk two, which is going to uh, just double every element in the list and give us the new list with the double number, right? So I'm going to run the code and you can see uh, the list elements are now doubled, but this will not change the content of LST is going to give us the new list uh, with the each element uh, which is doubled. Now, if you want to be more specific, you can also write something like this. So uh, X, then uh, this rocket symbol, and then you can just write X as asterisk two, which will also perform the same operation on every element of this list, which is going to give us the same result. So either you can use the underscore or you can use this explicit uh, function to uh, you know apply on your each element of your collection. Let's say I want to just add two to each element, then you can see two is added to each element of my list. I can even uh, just let's say divide and then I want to divide it uh, by 0 0.2. So I'm going to run the code and you can see uh, every element is divided by 0.2 and result is uh, given to us. Now we can also apply this map function with a string also. So let's say we just want to add high. So I'm going to just say high and then plus and then on each element. So I'm going to just uh, write X here and I'm going to run the code and you can see it just appends high before each element of that list. Now let's say I just write something like this. So high and then asterisk. What this will do is I'm going to run the code and let's see what happens. So in the result, you can see it will just print high uh, the number of time which is given in the list. So if the first uh, element in the list is one, then high will be iterated one time. If the element is two, then it will be iterated two times or three times or five times and so on. Now let's uh, use that map method with our map also, which is a collection map. So we can just write print ln and then we will just write my map, which is the variable name dot map. And let's apply the map. So we will just say X rocket. And then once again, let's uh, print high. So high and then plus X. And let's see what happens when we run the code. So when we run the code, it appends high to every element of my map. So this is essentially a tuple. So every element in the map or key value pair in the map is a tuple. So it's printed as a tuple and high is appended 
in front of that tuple. Now let's say we just want to apply the map on the values of uh, this uh, map. So we can just write uh, dot map and then values which will apply this function on only the values. So not on the keys. So one, two and three are keys here and Tom, Max and John are the values here. So it will only apply this method on the values. So I'm going to just run the code and you can see the keys are unchanged and hi is appended before every value. Hi Tom, hi Max and hi John. Now you can uh, use map with a string also. So I'm going to just write uh, print ln and then here I'm going to just write uh, hello in uh, small letters and let's say I want to uh, just uh, print this hello in capital letters so I can just use dot map here and then I will call a method called to upper so I'm going to just write underscore which is a wildcard of every element and then I'm going to just uh, call a method dot to upper on every element of this uh, string which is a character h e l l o right so i'm going to just run the code and you can see it prints hello in capital so what's happening here so this is a string so this map will iterate over every character of the string and then apply to upper on every character of that string and then give us the result that's why we see hello in capital now let's also talk about a flatten method on uh, our collection. So I'm going to just write print ln. So let's say I have a list which is a list of lists. So let's say I'm going to just write list here. And inside this list, we have some lists. So list of lists. So like this. And this list contain 1, 2, 3. And then comma, the other list contains, let's say, 3, 4, 5. So 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. Okay. So we have list of list here. So a method called flatten is going to just uh, combine those list inside that list and then give us the result. So let's uh, just print that uh, first and then we will apply the flatten method on that list. So the normal result is something like this. But let's say we want to join those list inside the list and then we want to show the result. So we use the method called flatten and let's see what happens when we call this method on our list of list so you can see now we have one list which is the combination of the element of the first list and the second list which are two elements of the list okay so flatten will uh, just as the name suggests flattens the content of this list and why I have shown you this flatten method because I want to uh, illustrate uh, a method called flat map and this flat map method act as a shorthand to a map a collection and then immediately flatten it. So let's say we have our list here defined. So I'm going to first of all just write print ln. And on that uh, list, what I want to do is, so LST, I'm going to just uh, write LST. And then I'm going to write uh, flat map here. And in the parenthesis, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just say on every uh, element of my list, I want to just give a list. So let's say I want to just return a list with that element and uh, that element plus one let's say okay so let's run the code and let's see what happens this should be print line and let's run the code now 
and you can see what happens here is we have this list so 1 2 3 5 7 10 13 and we got a list like this so what happened here is this method is going to give us the list of that element and then that element plus one so this method is applied to first element and then we will get the first uh, element which is x and then x plus one is two so we get one two then this method is applied to the second element so we have x as two and x plus one is three here that's why we get these two result and then same we have applied this method on three so we have three and four and then five and six and so on okay and because we have called a flat map because uh, flat map act as a shorthand for map and then directly flatten that uh, list once again that's why we are uh, just getting the flatten list here okay if we uh, just call the map here so i'm going to just call a map method then what we will get then we will get the list which we were expecting so if we apply dot map then we get a list of list like this but we apply a flat map here so it's a flat and then map that's why it flattened uh, the list and then we get this result now at the end let's talk about the filter method also so i'm going to just write print ln once again and then this filter method is generally used with a predicate so i'm going to let's say list dot filter so what is a predicate first of all so a predicate is a function that returns a boolean value okay so generally we give a predicate as an argument of this filter so what that means is we give a method as an argument to this filter which returns us a boolean value so i'm going to just write x then rocket and let's say we want to uh, just check or we want to just get all the even values out of that list so i can uh, just write x then modulus 2 equals 0 and i'm going to run this code and then this gives us only the even value out of this list which is 2 and 10 let's say i just want to get the odd values so i can just write something like this and then i will just get the odd values out of that list so filter is always used with a predicate and predicate is a function which will give you a boolean value so this is how you can use map flat map flatten and filter method with scala i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now